Shalom unto the elect of the nation of Israel, which will consider the 144,000 and the one-third. That's a so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American descent by the seed of thy father. And furthermore, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Chodash, double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone that teach in that Ruel today. <clears throat> and salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that's in the faith and all that scatter worldwide in all truth and sincerity day in and day out. Shalom. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to get into a quick lesson, straight to the point. Okay, you know, basically the, the topic of this lesson is going to be about um, basically who the world is going to call Jesus Christ, which we know his name is Yahweh Shai in the Paleo Hebrew, meaning that he is the deliverer. Okay, basically going back to the, you know, going back to the basis. Okay, because here at Great Millstone, Okay, we know to get into the scriptures when it comes to salvation and who it only pertains, and that's only to the Israelites. Okay, those that's of Negro, Latino, and Native American descent. Okay, because outside of Great Millstone, you got other Israelite camps, you know, that know they Israel, but when it comes to salvation, they say that all nations can make it. Okay, including the, the, the heathens. Okay, not so. Okay, who the world called Christ, Yahweh Shai, only came, okay, for, <clears throat> he only came and, and uh, died and risen for the nation of Israel. And on top of that, starting with the elect, okay, which we're considered the 144,000 and the one third that's destined to be saved. Okay, not, we're not teaching that who the world called Christ, Yahweh Shai, came for all nations okay that's madness okay and you got a lot of these israelite camps you know well, some of them pushing that man okay but there's you know that's that's a false doctrine okay that's nothing nothing more than uh christianity with an israelite spin on it okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get into the the lesson the scriptures to prove that who the world called christ see how was shy only came for Israel, okay? That's who the Heavenly Father, okay? Who the world called God, uh, Yahweh, meaning he is or he is this, okay? Sent his son only for the nation of Israel, man. So this is Acts chapter five, verse um, 30. <clears throat> the power of our father raised up Yahweh Shai, who you slew and hang on a tree. Him have Yahweh exalt with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So once again, only to Israel. Like I said, at this time, the elect, the 144,000 and the one third. Okay, that Lord is gathering the elect at this time. Let me get another one. So Yahweh Shai only came for the nation of Israel. Um, Matthew chapter one, verse um, 21. Matthew chapter 1 verse 21 And she shall bring forth a son And thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai For he shall save his people From their sins Okay so this is going into when the angel uh, uh, Gave Joseph and Mary The omen nomen Okay which the word omen Nomen mean name prediction Of what they call their son Okay which his name is Yahweh Shai Meaning in the Hebrew He is the deliverer He's only coming back to bring deliverance or salvation for his people, okay? And to, give, to forgive the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, okay, for our sins, man, okay? And so this is another scripture to prove that Yahweh Shai only came for his people, which happened to be Israelites, which Yahweh Shai stemmed it out of the, the, the bloodline of King David, okay, which... King David and the course Yahweh Shai are from the tribe of Judah. Okay, the head tribe, which are the so-called Negroes today. Let me see on um, where that's Hebrew.
Let me see Hebrews. Now I'm just going through the spirit. And it says, um, what, at 14? Hebrews. Yeah, Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evidence that I, it is evident that our Lord sprung out of Judah, of uh, which the tribe of Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Okay, and the point is that Yahweh Shai stemmed it out of the bloodline of Judah. Okay, which happened to be the so-called Negroes today. Okay, the head tribe. Okay, when it comes to the Israelites. So Yahweh Shai has come back to deliver only Israel. And we're approaching the time of deliverance as we're approaching the time of uh, Jacob's trouble. And during the time of Jacob's trouble, you're going to have a uh, time like no other. Okay, we're about to witness martial law, uh, uh, civil unrest, okay, famine, pestilence, okay, plagues in the form of uh, pestilence. And only the elect is going to be delivered out of that. And ultimately, this place, America, is going to be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear fire. Okay. So, um, let me see, um, and out of that destruction, Yahweh Shai only going to deliver the remnant, the elect, by the way of uh, what the world call UFOs, which are the chariots. Let me get this. Okay, the vehicles of the angels. Matthew chapter 24, verse 29. Immediately after the tri tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven. And the powers of heaven shall be shaken, going to the second coming of Yahweh Shai at the peak of the third world war. Okay? And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven by the way of the chariots. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Okay, and that's going into what the uh, the chariots. Okay, that's the clouds symbolized for the chariots. Okay, or what the world call you a foes. How Yahweh Shai and the angels going to return to bring destruction and only going to deliver the elect, mainly from America, okay? Even though, you know, the script's going to go into it more because you have Israel scattered amongst all nations, okay? Therefore, the elect is, is uh, scattered amongst all nations as well, okay? They're destined to be saved. And it says, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. They shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other and that's the way by the, the what the world call ufos when you have a shot to bring the deliverance of the elect okay that's worldwide okay but mainly this place america because this place is going to be totally annihilated by missiles okay matter of fact let me get on with that amos nine and eight amos nine and eight Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai are upon the sinful kingdom. And that's going into America right now. And two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed, okay, in this, in this thermonuclear fire, especially those that take that RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, according to Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. Okay? <clears throat> right along, they're going to be destroyed right along with the rest of these heathens, man, starting with Esau, Edom, okay? The so-called white race. And these heathen nations that's over here, that's destined for those missiles here in America. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, are upon a sinful kingdom. And that's no definitely here in these times, no doubt, is America. Okay? And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Okay, going into the elect. Okay? The word utterly mean completely. The Lord is not going to completely destroy the nation of Israel as a whole. Over here in America, but only deliver the elect, okay, of the house of Jacob. And it says, And I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, say the Lord. Okay. So I had to bring that out. Okay, so Yahweh Shah is only coming back to deliver Israel. Let me see. Let's, uh, let's go to what that Matthew. Um Matthew chapter 10, verse on 5. These twelve Yahweh Shah sent forth and command them, saying, Go not into the ways of the Gentiles, 
So in this case, it's going into uh, the Gentiles going into the other nations, the original Gentiles or strangers, these heathens of the other nations. Okay, this gospel or salvation is not meant for them. Okay, matter of fact, their future in the kingdom up under us when once see how shall establish his kingdom. Okay, which by default is the kingdom of Israel starting with the elect after the you know the destruction of America and how shall establish the kingdom here on the earth in the land of Israel, which by the way that land is going to be destroyed as well by the way of thermonuclear fire by the hands of Russia <clears throat> due to the fact that those people that's over there are not the original JEW or Israel Israelites. Okay, they are phonies. Okay, they go back to the tribe of Esau Edom, in particular Amalek. Okay, as we like to say, the small hats with the big nose or the forty eighters. Okay, so that land is going to be built back up through slavery. Okay, uh, these other nations start with the elites of Esau Edom. That's that's going to escape the damn nations of those missiles as they're going to be in their retreats. Okay, just to be reserved for captivity. Okay, so in this sense, when it goes to go not into the way of the Gentiles, it's going into the original heathens. Okay. But we also know that you're going to have Israelite foreigners scattered amongst them that may take on the physical look of a heathen nation. But if their bloodline go back to Negro, Latino, and Native American descent, they are Israelites, man, according to the seed of their father. Okay? <clears throat> but the original heathens, this gospel or this word or salvation is not for them. Okay? And it says, go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans into ye not. Okay, because at that time you had a scattered uh, heathens, okay, in Samaritan. Okay, because we know when it comes to the history, the original inheritors of the land of Samaritan or that, you know, over there in Israel was the northern kingdom, mainly Ephraim, which are the so-called Puerto Ricans today. Okay, the head tribe of the northern kingdom. Okay, but it was, you know, eventually was pushed out. The northern kingdom was pushed out, went into the captivity under uh, the Assyrians. And eventually heathens uh, was put in that land or, you know, inherit that land or went into that land mass. Okay, so even during the time of Yahweh Shai uh, ministry, you had the heathens over there as well. Even though you had Israelites scattered amongst them, okay, mingling in with them. Okay, but ultimately the Samaritans that was heavy operated by heathens, okay, the Assyrians. And it says, Go not into the ways of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, well, that's the point. Okay, this gospel is for the house of Israel. Okay, start with the elect. And as you go preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay, and that's what we're doing today. Preaching to our people that salvation is only for the nation of Israel. And at this time, starting with the elect. So that's it on that. Let me see. Uh, so this, so, so salvation is not for all nations, man. When it comes to the new covenant, that's only for Israel. Matter of fact, let's get that. With a Hebrews 8. And eight, uh, Hebrews eight and seven, for that first covenant being faultless. Okay, we know the matter of fact. I started at verse six, but now have you attained a more excellent, a more excellent ministry by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, and that's Yahweh Shai. Okay, he's the mediator now. Okay, between the the old and the new New Testament or the new covenant. <clears throat> okay which was established upon better promises yeah and it's going to go into the better promises of the new covenant for if that first covenant had been faultless okay the old covenant then should no place have been sought for the second okay and in, the, in the, the old covenant the law says commandments okay are not um faulted okay it was us the nation of Israel that went off against the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay, and that's due to the sinful flesh that the Lord uh, put us in. Okay, which we all know is prophecy. Okay, all the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that we had to learn uh, 
wickedness to, to appreciate the good that we're going to receive in the kingdom when it comes to the new covenant. Okay, as I'm going to continue on. And it says, um, for it, that first covenant had not been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he said, behold, who's the dumb? The Israelites. Okay. He said, behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. So that's all 12 tribes. Okay. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continue not in my covenant, and I regard them not, say the Lord. And that's why we're in captivity to this day, under the curses. Okay, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 16, all the way through 68. Okay, the Lord punish us for our disobedience, going after false gods, idols, <clears throat> going after the hedonistic customs of these other nations. That's why the Lord punish us, man. But now we're at the point of salvation, or the redemption of, sal uh, of the elect, okay, or salvation of the elect uh, of Israel. And as a whole, Israel, all Israel going to be saved, but right now I'm starting with the elect. And it says, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of, of Israel after those days. And it says the house of Israel, no other nation, okay? And it say the house of Israel and, okay, it says the house of Israel only. And after those days, said the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them, be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. Okay. And that's the new covenant. Once you have a shot, bring the deliverance. And our bodies are changed from being mortal. We're going to go from being mortal to immortality. The law, statute, commandments in our inward part. Okay. And we're going to, we're going to live the law. Okay. Ain't going to be no more. As now we rehearse in the righteous act, keeping the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability. Okay, but we're not justified by the laws at this time. We are under grace. But when Yahweh Shah return, okay, and change our bodies, okay, us are the hopeful elect. When it comes to the salvation and our kingdom being established, then therefore we're going to be righteous forevermore. That's going to issue in the new covenant. Okay, not now. Because you even got certain Israelites out there saying that we are already in the new covenant. Okay, that's a lie. Okay. And it says, And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. Okay, so if we was under the new covenant, it wasn't need for us to be out there on the street doing the street ministry to teach our people about their inheritance and giving them prophecy of future judgment. Okay, giving them warning. Okay, all will know the Lord at that time. Okay, all, all in this time as they see as we're in the new covenant. Okay, now this is talking about in the, in the future, once Yahweh Shah established the kingdom. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness, and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. Okay, so this is going into the kingdom. Okay, so only the elect is going to attain it at this time. Romans 11 and 7. Okay, the election have attained it and the rest was blinded. The rest that was blinded at this time is the two thirds, man. But eventually they're going to perish on this side and come back into Canaan, being the uh, offspring or the sons and daughters of the elect, okay, which is reincarnation. Okay, and that's how, uh, as a whole, the nation of Israel going to inherit the kingdom. And it says, For I will be merciful unto the unrighteousness. And their sins and their iniquities would I remember no more. In that he said, a new covenant he had made the first old, now that which decay waxeth old, ready to vanish away. And it is time now, as we're in this grace period, okay, as we're about to enter into the time of uh, uh, approaching it uh, approaching the time of Yahweh Shai's second coming, which is the salvation of Israel, starting with the elect, once again. And I'll close up with um with this um Romans. Romans uh, nine verse one. And I said, and uh yeah, can yeah, I just it just came to my mind, cause you even got some of these Christians, now you got certain Israelites adopting that false doctrine about um supersessionism, 
or replacement theology. Okay, saying that the Lord, the God did away with his chosen people, Israel, that opened up for all nations to be saved. Okay, that's false. Matter of fact, let me get this. Romans 11 and 1. I say then, have Yahweh Bashim Yahushai cast away his people. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. So this is Paul saying that the Heavenly Father and His Son didn't cast away the nation of Israel. Okay? And that he's from the tribe of Benjamin. Okay, which today the tribe of Benjamin, which we believe through faith. Okay, or uh, the so-called Jamaicans today. But the point is, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua didn't cast away his people, man. Okay, as we're going to go into Romans chapter 9 about who the promise and the covenants are given unto. We just not read the old covenant, okay, that was for Israel. And the new covenant, that's also for Israel. Okay, so this is going to furthermore expound. Romans 9 and 1. I say the truth in Yahweh Shai, I lie not. My conscience also bear witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself was a curse from Yahweh Shai for my brethren, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to hope pertain the adoption, the glory, the covenants, okay, old and new, the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh by Shai and the promises whose are the fathers and of whom concerning the flesh Yahweh Shai came who is over all Yahweh by Shai blessed forever okay okay hey, so that's the point right there man okay now I'll go ahead and end this video and I pray you how about you, Mount Shai, that it lets me edifying to those out there listening. Until the next time, Lord willing, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.